if you read the Quran, it will surely benefit you in this world as well as the hereafter. You read the Quran, if you don't know Arabic, read the Quran in the language you understand. If you understand English, read it in English. The language you understand the best. If you understand Urdu, read it in Urdu. If you understand Hindi, read it in Hindi. If you understand French, read it in French. If you understand German, read it in German. Read it in the language you understand, irrespective whether you read the English translation, the Urdu translation, the Hindi translation, the French translation, or German translation, at least read the translation of the glorious Quran so that you can understand the message of your creator. I'd like to give an example. Suppose a very close friend of yours, who's a German, he comes from Germany, and he spends a couple of weeks with you in Bombay. He being a German, he can't speak English fluently, but he can converse with you. He spends a couple of weeks in Bombay, and when he goes back to Germany, he writes to you a letter in German. Because he can't speak English fluently, he can't write English fluently, so he writes to you a letter in German. Now, when you get that letter in German, you don't understand German. What will you do? But natural, because he's a close friend, you will have that letter translated. You'll want to know what did your good friend tell you from Germany. You will have that letter translated. Don't you want to know what is the message, the last and final message given by our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You don't have to go and translate the Quran. The Quran, alhamdulillah, has already been translated in the major languages of the world.